I think inevitably you're going to hear some echoes of similar messages today because the key message of the day is that the census is important uh, and everybody counts and you need to make sure that you count. Uh, I love statistics and I think censuses are really great. I really enjoy looking through what the census reveals and all the statistics, how society is changing, uh, you know, what the proportion of immigrants is, which languages are spoken, how many people, uh, are, what the growth is in different parts of the country, in different areas and different towns. So I'm looking forward very, very much to 10, 10, 10 and to the, and to the results of the census and going through that. Look at a 10 year period, much would have changed in the social fabric of the country and the government, the private sector, the media, everybody would want up-to-date information on the country. Um, for example, the population might have changed and that could have been as a result of births or deaths and we don't know unless we have the empirical information. Also, it might have changed because of migration patterns. Um, some socio-economic conditions would, might have changed and we wouldn't really know unless we get the empirical information from a census. Of course, there are other ways of getting it, but to get it from the entire population, we would have to have a census. There are six or seven questions. Remember, you are not required to answer all of them if they don't apply to you. So even though it might sound long, you would find out that it's much shorter than you would think. We are counting people who are residents, and being a resident, a usual resident of the Cayman Islands, means that you have been living here for at least six months or you intend to stay for at least six months. As you may be aware, the census information is strictly confidential. So have no fear that your information would be shared with anybody that is not associated with the Economics and Statistics Office. Each enumerator must sign an oath of secrecy. In fact, most of them have signed that already and we have copies of these they will be walking with that oath of secrecy as well and you could, could request that of them and that is basically to reassure you that if they were to divulge any information that they have gathered from you and it doesn't have to be only information that you give to them it could be information that they observe while conducting your interviews and their eyes may be roving and they pick up information like that even though you did not share it with them not even that they could divulge so we are very strict with that and as a retraining, we reiterate that point over and over again, the whole confidentiality aspect. Even if you give your name, when we process our data, we do not process names. All we process is information about individuals, not the names. So you, you do not have to use the proper names of those persons. You can use any names to identify the persons in the household. The, the statistics that we will collect from the census will allow everybody, that is government, but also NGOs, statutory authorities, people running the hospital, the teachers and the people running our schools, to plan better. We, we can develop better policies if we've got a better idea of the makeup of our population. My department, for example, whenever we carry out an assessment, we, are, we have to do a financial assessment as a part of the assessment. That's the, usually the core of the assessment. Um, otherwise, if we don't know how much people make, how can the country really manage itself? We need to know details on income. Um, we need to know, for example, what levels of income people are earning. Um, when we declare people in the jet, we have to know what their income is, whether or not they can afford to live. If they need the subsidies from the government, if they need temporary assistance, permanent financial assistance. So that kind of information can be very useful. Each enumerator is assigned to a special area and they would be canvassing that area, meaning going in a systematic way from one household to the next, checking to find out if there are residents in these households and to count those persons, those residents in the household. You would know them because they will be wearing a census shirt they will have their census identification. They will have a census bag. So those are some of the key things you should look out for to identify a census worker.